welcome again to my YouTube channel. Yun ang Infinity Zoom Effect. It's cool, right? Yes, it is. Alam you guys, sa lahat ng mga in-upload ko sa YouTube, ito yung pinaka-favorite ko. Bakit? It took me almost one week to study this particular effect. But, I'm gonna teach you in very easy way. It's a mind-blowing effect, guys. The interesting part of this effect is pwede niya siyang gawing uh, intro ng mga vlog niyo or shall I say, transition sa mga vlog niyo. Marami siyang pwedeng gawin, guys. Kaya, tuturoan ko kayo. We need to discuss two rules. Rule number one, kailangan mo lang naka-steady ang camera mo. And rule number two, kailangan mong mag-video ng two clips para naman maiba yung mga actions at merong green screen sa laptop mo. That's it. Yun lang. But before we start our editing, is don't forget to like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Sa two clips nyo, depende sa inyo kung ano ang clip na ilalagay nyo sa ibabaw. And for our first move, click muna yung clip 1. Pagkatapos is go to effect and search for keying and go to key light. Sa key light, click first the drop tool and click the green portion. I-hide muna natin yung second clip. Pagkatapos balik tayo sa effect, search for keying and go to linear color key. The purpose of linear key is to remove the blue color. As you can see sa ating laptop screen, all black na siya lahat. We're done the first clip and go to second clip. Same process ang gawin natin. Go to effect, search for keying, and go to key light to remove the green screen. And go to linear color key to remove the, the blue color. So ngayon, natanggalan natin ang green screen sa dalawang clip. Next step, move the second clip until ma-fit siya sa laptop screen ng clip 1. Go to rotation tool para ma-adjust natin ang second clip. Mas maganda talaga guys na ma-fit siya ng maayos. Nang sa ganun, reality siya tignan. To review the center point, go to layer clip. Sa nakita nyo guys, merong small circle. Kailangan natin tong e-center sa laptop screen ng ating second clip. Do it until na ma-achieve mo siya. And if you're done, makikita nyo na medyo umangat yung clip natin. Kaya kailangan natin itong center sa ating composition. To start the effect, click first the top footage and hit the letter S of your keyboard to show the scale. But before scaling, kailangan muna natin ay connect yung clip 2 sa clip 1. Scale it until na makita yung second clip. Pagkatapos yun na, hit Ctrl D to duplicate our two clips. And we need to drag it down. Rename the two duplicated clips to duplicate one and duplicate two. Just click first the duplicate one in order to see the actual scale. And, and then uh, move it until it fits to our clip 2. 
just click uh, control plus to zoom in para naman mas madali nating makita yung uh, frame ng ating clip 2 Uh, hit the rotation tool para naman uh, mas madali nating ma-adjust ang ating duplicate one at ma-fit ma natin ng maayos sa ating clip tool. And also, don't forget to connect our duplicate one to our duplicate two. Para naman makita natin ang ating last clip guys, is uh, click first the clip 1 and scale it until it shows our last clip. Sa part na to, kailangan nating i-move ang ating center point sa ating last laptop screen. Same process lang to kanina guys, uh, do it until na ma-center nyo ang point. Medyo hindi siya magandang tingnan kung sa last clip natin ay black new screen. So we need to use uh, stock footage sa ating file and drag it to our composition. Sa ganitong paraan guys, ay ma-achieve natin ang tama ang effect. Click first our stock footage and hit control plus minus to zoom out in, or in order to see the actual scale. And again, move it until it fits to our last screen. Control plus to zoom out. Control plus to zoom in. Sa ating last, sa ating stock footage ay medyo mataas yung duration niya. So, kailangan natin itong ikat na ma-fit sa ating footage. So, kailangan natin itong ikat until na ma-fit sa ating mga footage. To do that is move, move first the line and hold control plus shift and click D. And delete the unnecessary, unnecessary footage. Balik tayo sa ating first footage and uh, scale it until na uh, scale it down until na uh, makita natin yung until na uh, makita natin yung first uh, first clip. Easy way to perform this is change it to fit up to 100% and start scaling. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating last step guys, ay kailangan muna natin kailangan mo kailangan muna nating i-fit ang ating first clip sa ating composition. So ayun nakuha na natin so move to our last step go to scale and click first the toggle animation and move the line to our last frame Sa nakita nyo, medyo hindi pa equal lahat. So, we need to, to work it first. 
to equal all the footage and go to our last frame and after go to scale and zoom it until it shows our stack footage So ayun, sa nakita nyo guys, I tend to forget to connect our stack footage to our duplicate 2. And we need to work it first. Uh, kung tapos na kayo, ay i-connect nyo na yung stack footage sa ating duplicate 2. And we continue to our scaling. To achieve the loop effect, just hold control, click clip 1, and scale. Then right click the keyframe and go to keyframe assistant and click exponential scale. Result, gagawa siya ng maraming keyframes. And that's it. That's the end of our tutorial. And let's see the actual output. Easy, diba? <laughs> Kapag meron ka nakalimutan ng mga steps, guys, sa, sa editing, just don't hesitate to download my video para naman mapanood mo ulit. And also, sa susunod ng mga tutorial ko, ang ituturo ko naman ay videography or cinematography using your mobile phones. You heard it right? Yes, it is. Uh, kasi karamihan sa atin ngayon ay nag-upload nag ng mga video sa social media. At tutulungan ko kayo para mapaganda ang qualities ng mga videos niyo. Thank you for watching!